City of Stars. That's why we're here. Today in the program, we're looking at uh, one of the most uh, important and well known topics which is faced by a lot of young women and children as well as youth or parents. I mean, over the past few days, we've seen many organizations coming together against uh, the killing of women and children in the country, which I believe is uh, everyone's responsibility to ensure that they feel as part of uh, our society. So, to hear more about this, we'll be joined later in the studio by a young woman who has been sexually violated together with uh, one of her best friends on the 23rd of June while they were making their way from campus after writing one of their, their evening exam papers. Apparently, it was reported that the two females were seen being taken by a young man, the deceased the female's ex-boyfriend, who managed to escape with them in a small unidentified camp. This young man later said the two females are bad uh, because uh, his uh, ex-girlfriend has reported him to the police for physically abusing. And like I said before, one of the victims uh, has managed to escape and is here with us and she'll be telling us more on this. For now, I want us to cross over to one of our host presenters and tell us what young people have to say on this. But lady, let me come to win in this way. Sure, you know what? To not the aim is not to go we home. Never get worried, we got the bad bitches on the zone. Okay, right. Thank you very much, Kaviso KG. My name is Mlepopa Lady. As he said, today we are at Pulukwani Jack Boras. That's where we get. I'm joined by this young man here. Can you please introduce yourself? Oh, my name is Jack uh, Makafala from Matobole. What is human trafficking? Oh, human trafficking, um, in a dialect, uh, in a in like, uh, Have you ever heard or read about human trafficking? You're surprised about that. From this young lady, Urlan Jessica Mopati, and then Batuamu Pella or like Arna Mele, Retro Pong, and then Rangibal Motoro Pong, Karanjibal Gamaragulu. So, what are our like? Robo Nalaba Navarra Gamaragulu. So, one majority when I it's all yours. are like But come Have you ever wondered why this uh, issue has become a serious issue in our country? Yes. Um, even a serious issue because. Because there are some of the people who are raping, but they are not raping. They are not raping. So, we are not raping. Have you ever been in the same experience or know someone who has been in a, such a situation as this one? Uh, some other girl from uh, where I stay. And then she was kidnapped and raped, and then uh, unfortunately, apalaya na palago ng safety, ba malaya, and then ba mushuma, and then ba just some part, the party chaga, and then ba odi sha mono rimbadi sha. Ba kajale kurbanya kadi lo chaga, the information chaga, and then ba mu posta everywhere because already ba shiwa tsuwa kama mo tulo rudera human trafficking, mu repa ba tuwa ba utwa and stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Let's go back to studio. Sure, you know what? To not the aim is not to go we home. Never get worried. We got the bad bitches on the zone. So the basari. Welcome back. Uh, you're still watching SD Event, a new program that is brought to you by SABC One. And uh, with me here is uh, Wontle, a victim who managed to escape a very traumatizing event, and uh, she'll be giving us more detail on that story. Wontle, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me, Mr. Ganesha. 
Crystal. So, um, would you mind uh, taking us through the first day in SEFM? I mean, the 23rd of June. Where were you guys coming from and going to? Just tell us more on that. No matter how hard it is to talk about it, yeah. I'm still going to talk about it. Yeah. It was on the 23rd of June 2016. Yeah. I remember very well we were from the varsity, mm. just finished writing our final exam. Yeah. We were going downtown yeah. for a party, rather call it a yeah. prime star. Okay. Suddenly a car stopped by yeah. and we were taken first into the car. Mm. Immediately the guy injected us. Mm. Mind you, it was my it was my friend's boyfriend. Okay. Then uh, I don't know what happened because we were trapped. Mm. Immediately the car stopped. Mm. Where there was a warehouse, trees yeah. all over. Yeah. It was dark out there. Okay. Um, what are there any securities uh, around the campus that uh, would have seen this as you have been taken and uh, have helped you? Mind you, it was dark out there yeah. and everybody was just minding his or her own business. Yeah. Okay, so did you uh, manage to get the cast number plate and the color bearer? Unfortunately, no. Yeah. But then I can identify, I can identify the car. Yeah. It was a black color. Hello, yeah. So as you have been taken, uh, why didn't you scream for any help? Or weren't there any people around to, uh, to help you? Let me tell you. Yeah. Immediately we were taken into the car, yeah. we were trapped. Mm. And everybody was just watching by, we just taking pictures, just like every other people who do yeah. such things were coming to an accident like that. Mm. Okay, so can you identify this man and the location which you took you to? It was a very generous man by the looks. Yeah. Black top. Yeah. Yeah. So why didn't uh, anyone of you uh, maybe call for help when you realize that uh, your lives uh, might be in danger? Okay, we have done, we have done that, but yeah. then our phones were taken from us. Okay. All right. So please explain to us in detail about the, the, the kind of environment which you, uh, you took you there. Were there any nearby houses or maybe neighbors or even puzzle shop or something? Just tell us more on that. Okay. It was more like a disordered place. Yeah. Nobody was living there. Yeah. No animal yeah. outside, yeah. but then the place was so surrounded by trees. Mm. It was a more like of a warehouse. Okay. So after this whole incident, um, did it happen that men still provoke your feelings or fear that uh, they could be one of those uh, abusive ones as a man put it in that way? I must say, not every man is an abusive man. Yeah. But then when I come to see a man aggressively or closely talking to a woman, it provokes my feelings very, yeah. very badly. Okay, all right, let's now take a quick break. We'll be back shortly, right after this. Kisha Kishi FM gives you a perfect and the platform that is there to rise and shine. Mm, the glory has come. Unemployment rate is one of the most uh, crucial challenges faced by the youth today. I mean, financial challenges, uh, housing, shifting in economy, poverty. Well, we're going to be looking at all these issues uh, on the 1st of July. Make sure you don't miss out because it is all happening on the 1st of July. Jekwaras Parker, here we come, Polo Gwani. I am Kahiso Chaba, and this was brought to you by KMBS Kahiso Bida Production Studio. Bona, we're very much. Now I'm joined by Young Man Kia. Young Man, can you please introduce yourself to listeners? Sure. Hello listeners. Uh, my name is Star from Amajam What is women trafficking? I think women trafficking is a slavery of women said legally and they do this for uh, commercial gain or exploitation. Have you ever read or heard uh, about women trafficking? I've heard about the women trafficking. I've found that information from social media, looking for other girls that are lost. Okay. Have you ever wondered why women trafficking has become such a big case in our country? I think it, uh, this women trafficking is caused by the people who are not working, people who have something who had nothing to do during the course of the day. Okay, right. Oh, the bar mo just clave lo ba. Wey na kwe na mo just clave lo why you na a case here bengo you na ya women trafficking. Ah, kizu mo just clave, but kinochono bana dawa dawa na 
modi social modi twitter okay zwa le go ya ka wena ke ke di lo di fitse le re maphodisa a di bulletsi e bile a di bulletsi e bile e ba ba di dia gore ba thibele yona e women trafficking maphodisa tshepisha gore a tla thibela ka bojotlhe ba wona gore ba gone ba tla thibela dabe ya women trafficking but a gone ga tlo ba itjanye ke bona e dire ga 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 ntjwa tshe or <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Let's go back to Steve. Welcome back. Um, you're still watching uh, S11 and thanks for staying with us. I can also remind you that uh, you may also join our conversation on our channel handle, of course, that is uh, etekahiso underscore keji, or give us a call, of course, on zero five two nine seven one seven seven zero five two nine seven seven six nine eight two. Don't say what now. Okay, we are now joined by one of the family members of the deceased one's family, uh, Mara Maroka. Lekaime. Raho. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to send uh, our deepest condolences to the family, and uh, I know how it feels uh, to lose someone uh, close to her. Well, especially because the person who will be in the university next year, she will be you know, graduating and I'd like to with the family. Uh, from SDF, Okay, so my first question to be, how did you feel when you received uh, the sad news about your daughter that uh, she's now no more in this world? Wasn't there anything that you have noticed that was different about her lately? Nothing much because we friend talking now. Yeah. She's not able to she's always in the room, yeah. sleeping. Like most of the time she's spending her time at yeah. school. Okay. So um has the subject been caught or how far are the police within the station up to now? The suspect ran down. Yeah. There's nowhere to be Okay. So has the family uh, managed to identify the body yet? Yes, we did manage to identify the food. We found the jewelry that I got from her on the Yeah. Day. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, how are you planning to, uh, to do her burial since uh, her body uh, has been to ashes? We're going to do it in a traditional way. We're going to send uh, our girls to mm. take the So, okay. uh, based on what you said earlier, uh, do you think this particular man was doing all that alone or he was uh, with someone else perhaps? I think if there were any helpers around, they would have mm. came along and I don't think I would have survived the incident. Yeah. So, by the, by the judging of the character, mm. he was alone. Okay. He, he was doing it out of spite. Okay. So, explain to us how you managed to escape from this incident. Okay. The man literally was focusing on his girlfriend. Yeah. So what came into his mind was to tie this girlfriend first yeah. thinking that I'm still weak yeah. and drugged. But then I, I, I was just just you know yeah. gaining consciousness. Yeah. Then I woke up, then I ran away. Yeah. I tried to call up for help, but then fortunately mm. a car came by. Yeah. When we were supposed to go back to the warehouse, mm. it was all over on fire. Okay. So also, what was the first thing that you did uh, when you arrived at your home to take corrective measures to ensure that the perpetrator got the punishment uh, he deserved? The first thing I did when I got home, mm. I told my mom about the incident. Yeah. And right afterwards, we went to the police station mm. where I reported everything to the police. Mm. Okay, so what kind of uh, relationship did uh, your friend has with uh, her ex boyfriend Was it uh, as healthy and rosy or was it as abusive as been reported? Because I believe as a friend uh, you, you, you could have identified problems in their relationship or perhaps she might have you know, told you things that uh, she couldn't share with her family. 
No, the relationship was not rosy as you say. Yeah. It was that abusive relationship yeah. whereby my friend will come to me complaining about each and everything which happens to her. Mm. I think that's why he killed her. Yeah. So, but why did she uh, decide to stay in a abusive relationship in the first place? He was so scared to speak out. Mm. He didn't want people knowing what's going on mm. in his personal life. Okay. He wanted to keep things personal. Meaning uh, the, uh, the perpetrator might have, you know, uh, threatened her life or those of her family, or maybe was it based because, was it based on money or something? No, it yeah. was not based on money. Yeah. It was an abusive man, as we're saying it. Yeah. He used to threaten her all the time when he promised to break up with him. Yeah. Okay. I hear you. Okay. For now, let's take a quick break. We'll be back shortly, right after this. You know what? To not the aim is not to go with home. Now I'm joined by this beautiful lady here. Yeah. What is your name? Hey, my name is Sister Have you ever heard or read about it? Yeah, I've heard about it and I'm one of the victims. Okay, you are a victim, right? Yes. What have you experienced about this uh, issue? Uh, I've experienced worry, uh, like, uh, but to uh, do those things, uh, I can say, like, uh, I can maybe I can say, but I can say, but I can say, but I can say, but I can Okay, have you ever wondered why human trafficking has become such a big case in our country? I think it's due to lack of jobs, because they think it's an easy way of getting good money. What have police said or done about your issue? Uh, they said they will investigate and we are still waiting for the response. Eh, we are going to have our M. Lawana, Aya, Africa, from active. Elor, are we in active? Yes, we see a Cisca, Sir Catlanga, so now we a woman trafficking. We are stopping. I think we are enjoying the but like it, but 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 everyone tell me it's because we did bail because nobody can go out from home. Ah, but just to see, but kill the judge sharp and I I I did. But but when we do church, we do church, we don't bail. And we cannot ring. We cannot do the long run. We ring. But when we bail, we bail. But but we don't bail. To hear the car, but we go out to the road. Thank you very much for your time. Now you are going back to studio. Crazy J Mont is faded. We get it elevated. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for staying with us. We are now joined by uh, uh, the police officer from the uh, South African Police Services in Polokwane, uh, Dr. Sonomati. Uh, Legendat. Yeah. So um, has the suspect been caught? Mm. So how far are you with the investigation? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, wasn't there any evidence from uh, the place where the incident happened, that, uh, which uh, which uh, has enabled you to link it to any suspects? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are the methods that uh, you, as the police officer, or the 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 has come up with so that the community can assist you in providing you with information and link to the suspects. Yeah, okay. Hold on, folks. We now have a caller on the line. A caller. Good morning, Cajun. Morning, sir. How are you? I'm very disturbed by the news today. Indeed, man. Yeah. Well, you speaking to your rappers in Johannesburg. Okay. Um, let me say this to all men in our country that uh, it's very sad to see families uh, burying their last ones, yeah. and children losing their mothers and their sisters. I mean, yeah. what message do you send to our young children? Why are we being so heartless? What kind of society are we? So yeah, let's stop violating their constitutional rights and unite in fighting against this. Okay. Thank you so much, Kiora Besa, for your call. We really appreciate it. I thank you. Great stuff. Okay, so police officer, tell us more about the, the recent crime stats of South Africa. Mm. Mm. 
So what are the, the plans that the SAPS have developed or implemented so that uh, you so that you can reduce all these crimes uh, statistics? Yeah, I should have a thousand of friends to the world at the last point. Yeah. But I'm not sure when you're going to be in the ground. I'm sure you're going to be in the ground. Yeah. And doing that is over the last half of the year. Yeah. So what is uh, the best advice that uh, you, could, you could give to your victim and also uh, the deceased uh, family member? Yeah. So any message that you have to women out there who are still settled in an abusive relationship? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So how and where can they get help from, uh, or who can they be able to talk to this just in case um, they are you know, scared of reporting such cases? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me read uh, some of uh, your tip messages. Uh, of course, the first one is from uh, Betty in Mamirodi East uh, saying, uh, has the escaped victim been to counseling or found her? Because I believe this was a very traumatizing event for her. Uh, was there, what, what has she done to help her uh, escape from uh, the, uh, the event mentally and emotionally? Have we been to counseling or therapy to overcome your experience? As I've been that I've been to the counselors and social mm -hmm. workers and they really done with me about that. Yeah. Okay. The other one is from uh, John Lewis in saying, in other countries, law is very strict and criminals barely uh, rule the streets and, uh, but the South African uh, spouse of crime uh, still shows and proves that uh, our SAPS uh, are still not doing enough to protect our nation. Uh, police officer, what do you mean by so do you have any ways of uh, encouragement that uh, you'd like to give to uh, uh, um, fellow, uh, maybe to women out there who are uh, still going through uh, the same situation? Yes. Yeah. Ladies, actually, and students out there, I would like to urge you to focus on your studies. Yeah. Stop partying, going around with boys who you don't know what they're capable of. Yeah. Speak up. Yeah. And save life. Exactly. Thank you. So my last question to you, Ben, um, what did you say you learned from all this that has happened? What I learned is that I shouldn't be afraid mm. to tell people what's bothering me. Yeah. I should speak out. Yeah. Seek for help. Yeah. And be helped. Okay. Um, for those who'd like to attend the funeral with you, so um, where can they get you, or uh, how would they be able to reach you? Um, yeah. Uh, Okay, thank you so much for coming through and uh, I wish you well. Uh, I wish you well in your preparations for the better of your last one. So uh, may God continue to bless and guide you uh, through this uh, difficult time. Yeah, and also a very big thank you to uh, Victor Bortle and the police officer for making time to speak to us here on as Thank you so much. Well, that's how we wrap things up and uh, thank you so much for your support. And, uh, but before we can leave, allow me to say, Nelson Mandela once said, I quote, If people can learn how to hate, they can be taught how to love, unquote. Let's stop killing our fellow sisters and mothers and even children. I mean, let us embrace the spirit of Ubuntu amongst us and also continue. Bandara, hashtag, I'm not trash, hashtag, not in my name. That's where we leave it for today. Until next time, and I can also remind you that you may also uh, catch this program on our YouTube channel, that is uh, Gahiso underscore KG or Gahiso Tower. Like a Facebook page, but it's a Gahiso KG. Let's meet.
same time, same place, right here on Zanzibar, for sure.